Yeah, welcome back to the Motorball Virginia channel. I was getting ready to uh, go do a test run with my R1 and boy, it's just about like a gut punch, you know. Uh, won't start up, battery died, trying to start it. Started just fine last night. Ran, heated up, and I don't know what what happens when you shut off and it just like yeah. Well, so and I've got to set my cameras all different and updated them and using 1080p, 24 frames per second. You know, bringing down. Hopefully, I can do uh, faster editing and stuff like like that. You know, not like my videos are getting that much. You know, uh, <laughs> worldwide a dungeon. Not like I expected them to. I'm just saying, it's not like uh, you know, a good video is really all I need is good video. I'm gonna build a. Look at that guy. Come pull right out. So at uh, 24 wow. frames per second, we're just going to get a little more choppy yeah, of a slow-mo. Uh, yeah, just need a decent video. That'd be not too special. But then again, when you go to all the work editing, you'd like to make sure you got a good quality. So let's see how this works. And the best way is just take a little test run. It's not going to go too far. And... Uh, Upload the bids, go in, check the quality. Man, I'm between doing all that stuff and making shorts and uh, trying to get live streams in and check your equipment and test this and do that, it becomes a uh, like I don't even have time to get a video out for Wednesday. I don't even have a video out for Wednesday. I'd like to have a video out. Are you using a signal? No, hell no. He ain't letting nobody know where he's turning. Another puller out or... Go ahead, keep inching and I'm gonna stop. Okay, we got this track muted now, the one that uh, records my exhaust the whole time. I kind of put it in the mix. I like the sound of the motorcycle, but what do y'all think? They keep inching. Uh, here the exhaust volume be is, stopping. is back up. Does it uh, drown out my voice? Yeah, you know the intro outers? You got puller outers and then you got intro outers. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather? This is got to have little, little sayings for everything, you know. That was the intro outer. To it like it is up here. Yeah, we had a nice rainstorm earlier. Beautiful. Roads are dried up. And uh, this is why I just don't even like going for a little putt. Like, even where I live, it is Grand Central. Uh, full of uh, chaotic drivers in town. And... Uh, it's a little difficult to get around on the old Mercer cycle when you're uh, kind of fearing for your life every two seconds. Now this is the way I usually take when I'm going to go to uh, the Forty place, the Forty Mandaroli. But I think I'm just going to take a a tool around the neighborhood, check my footage, and call the rep and get inside. I'm not like real focused. I, I kind of am, but you know, with the R1 on my mind right now and disappointment, and that needs to be ready to go for VAM. And if it's going to be like that, like I don't want to haul that piece of crap all the way up there just to have it. Uh, you know, not start and pull some crap like it just did. And you don't even know it's coming. You could be out on a ride, 
you know, up in the mountains somewhere, and then boom, I'm gonna be stalled out. Uh, then what? Somebody might help me, or maybe my daughter go back. We get the trailer. You know, there's just a bunch of different things. I just don't want to bother. You know, nobody else has a good time up there because I can't have good equipment. I put a lot of money into that R1. That's what's really disappointing. I put a lot of money and time and care into that R1. Taking it to get fixed, I don't know how many times, and you know, it's never really fixed. It's fixed and then for a short time, and, then, and it's not like the people that fix it are their problem, it's just they're not trying to cost me a million dollars. It is really, you need to replace this, you need to replace that. You know, by the time I replace everything, I spent, you know, over half of what I could just got a new bike. And I'm not willing to make bike payments. If I gotta make a payment, it's gonna be on a car or truck or SUV or something I can uh, <sighs> securely get the ride from because I'm not going to be stuck with just a, a motorcycle to get places and income you know it's just getting too too much for me too much I'm being a downer I'm being a Debbie Downer right now you notice that too it's okay we can, we, that's the magic of editing. You can cut out the downers. <laughs> Not everything's an upper for me. Watching that, guys. Be careful. I did do get to check out the microphone in here. I set up so I can do two mics on my uh, helmet. Ooh, and they're both purple pandas. I went back to the purple pandas now for a while. And I can uh, set up an exterior mic. Gotta watch this guy is hiding behind them. Okay, this is how it works. Got the adapter, the uh, dongle. We have the splitter, and it splits into two pieces. This one goes inside my helmet, and this one is for the exterior. I can plug in another mic, yep, and hold it out and record others at the same level. I'm recording myself inside my helmet. Genius. The trees, you don't know. And uh, can plug one in while I got my helmet on and uh, somebody else could get their voice in on the video without it always being up. Jeez, what's he saying there, Dean? Things to make your YouTube a little bit nicer. Yeah, that was a short little tool. A little tool. Trust nobody coming out from that outlet because it, none of them really, uh, whoever lives over there, breaks or just keeps going, making their turns, and they just really uh, inconsiderate. That's my judgment on that corner of the neighborhood. <laughs> I hope they don't watch the channel. There, that was a quick little trip. We got a ride, man. And my Hero 9 that's back here that I used on the trip too. Let's see if it's on. It's really giving me major problems. And you're on. You might have picked up everything. That's that's amazing, because let me tell you, this Hero 9, I wrote it off. It wouldn't turn on. It's got a bad on and off button. It goes in real deep and it's hard to get to. And it would just, when I'd hit it, when sometimes it would finally turn on. When it did, it would shut off, turn on, shut off, and that's all it would do. So I just let it run as long as I wanted to one time, and it just stayed on one time. 
I started recording with it again and it gave me some trouble getting it kicked on and started just different little things it would do I don't it's hard to explain it just was being really weird and uh, now here the last few times I've been able to turn it on and off regular. I went and I put a fresh update in it, manual, and uh, thank you, Road Reality. We're gonna see. I actually got to use this again. I didn't think I'd get to use it. So, yeah, it's exciting. Always hang on to your GoPros for a while. Something might happen later.